Sorry for waiting me. I have some business to do. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so just what I have promised you, Koi, I'm going to explain today the the essay. It's all about essay, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm I prepared a presentation. So I'm going to share it to you for a while. Okay. Okay, I hope you can uh, yes. you can see this one. Okay, now, so we are going to study because this would be your special request uh, from me that we are going to study how to write the perfect essay okay so there are only four ways on how you are going to write a perfect essay okay so i'm going to discuss to you one by one okay but of course you have to help me also okay 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 the first one koi would be to plan okay so when we say plan what does it mean our plan is our thinking and arrangement of thinking to put it in order. Yes, because it's very important for you to plan before you are going to put that one in writing. Because in a perfect essay, planning is very important. Okay? Because what? Although planning sound time consuming but if you make really good plan you will actually save yourself time when it comes to writing the essay okay and um, look at this one koi these are examples of how you can be able to plan for an essay so you can use this particular um, example but you can also use another one. Okay, these are just only example, but you can use another format also. In this particular format, the writer uses the so-called, um, it's, it's a mind map, okay? She uses a mind map, okay? Just like, for example, this one. So it's, it's a two big ideas. So let's say, for example, descriptions of her appearance now she was able to or she is going to write something or an essay all about curly's wife portrayed as a victim of mice and men so that would be her essay to write in order for her to understand in order for her to have a lot of ideas to write a perfect essay, she do or she does the following, okay? We have uh, two main ideas. The first one is descriptions of her appearance. And then the other one is other, other people's attitude, okay? In this particular big ideas, she can be able to write small ideas. Okay, but of course, it has relationship in it. So remember that one. In order for you to do this, you should have to remember that it should have the relationship in it. Okay, like for example, descriptions of her appearance. She has a red mules, red fingernails, round lips. So it's, it's, the physical appearance of that particular person which she wanted to write okay and then the, the 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 appearance okay all of the appearances of the person she wrote in here okay and then in the other big ideas other people's attitude so she compared her uh, here the ideas of other people the attitude of other people also because she can be able to explain that one comparing the ideas coming from the one uh, she, she wrote to the ideas coming from other, other people's attitude. 
Okay? Because you can also write that one call. Now, in planning, it is very important to do the following. If you could not do this one, there are other, other, uh, other, um, uh, uh, what is one, other techniques on how to do this one. Like, for example, if you don't like the mind map format, you can do plenty of others to choose from. Let's say, for example, you could make a table. Okay? You can use a table. You can use a flow chart or simply a list of bullet points okay so you can make you can make a table wherein you can put in there descriptions of her appearance and then in this particular table you can put in there other people's attitudes by merely putting all of those you can be able to make a very good essay okay you can be able to connect now Big ideas from small ideas. Okay? And that is what we call planning. Actually, planning takes time because you are going to think of the strategies on how you're going to do a perfect essay in planning. Okay, Koi? Okay. So do you have questions with this one when it comes to, to the plan? No Actually, question. this one would be the start. The start of what? The start of making a perfect essay. Okay? Okay. And then again, when, it, when, uh, when planning, you should have to consider a lot of things. What, like, for example, big ideas or compared it to other, to other person maybe okay or compared it to to other ideas okay by by um using let's say for example a mind map just like this one or if you don't like a mind map you can use a table flow chart or the list of bullet points okay so that is on planning okay the second one <clears throat> Excuse me. Have a clear structure. So when we say have a clear structure, would you kindly um, explain to me, Koi, what is your idea or what are your ideas when we say have a clear instruct or structure from the word structure? Um, what do you mean by this one? Structure. Thus we push. As we push our of sentence in the order significantly. Yes, okay. Then aside from that, what else? What do you think when we say structures? Constructor. Or structure. What? Okay. So when you say clear structure, you can be able to okay, you had now the so called this one, right? You have now the ideas. Okay, after putting the ideas, because you wrote there everything, that is not yet final, okay? So what you're going to do is connect them now. Connect them now and do the so-called structure, okay? By putting it a clear structure because this one is not yet finished. So put this one in writing and you should have to what? Review again that one. And then, in case it's, it's not clear, okay, you have to clear that one so that you could have the so-called clear structure of the essay, okay? Now, there are uh, specific examples in order for you to have a clear structure. So we have the so-called the yes, the and, and the but. So in the yes, okay, just like for example, descriptions of her appearance. Oh, it's, uh, it's the first big ideas, right? So we wrote that one here. Descriptions of her, her um, appearance. So it's a yes. Under the and, and other people's attitudes towards her. Okay, and 
There is a but in there. So what's the but? Her position as the only woman. On the run, give is her power as she uses her femininity femininity to advantage. Okay, now because um in, in, in this particular essay that she will going to write, it's all about the curless wife portrayed as a victim of mice and men. So that is the particular subject of her essay. So in this in this one, we should have to consider the yes and but. What when we say the yes, okay, all the positive appearances of that particular person. Comparing that one to other attitudes, okay, towards that particular subject. And there is a but, okay, what if, but, okay, the position of this one, or, or let's say, for example, if I am going to do this one, what happened to me, okay? If I am going to do this, what might be the consequence of this one? So there is the so-called but in there. Okay, three, um, three things to remember in having a clear structure. It's a yes and but. Okay, it's a yes and but. Okay, again, if you wanted to write a longer essay, because there are, there are shorter essays, right? So there are only short essays, and then there are also longer essays. Now, if you wanted to write a longer essay, you could include additional paragraphs under the yes and category. So we call this one as the yes and category. Okay? Perhaps, what are you going to do? You can discuss Curly's wife reveals her vulnerability and insecurities and shares her dreams with the other characters also in that particular essay that this particular author is doing. Okay, so she can talk about uh, she can talk about maybe the 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 husband. Okay, the husband of that particular uh, person. Okay, the character of the husband maybe, and then what he did. Okay, so you can also include that one so that you can be able to have a longer essay, right? Okay, and the third one. This one is a very good um, example for you to do. Why? Why? Because this one needs the so-called literary techniques, okay? What are those literary techniques in writing. Now, I am going to explain to you one by one. Allow me to, um, okay, to, what? yes, to, uh, to, to show you the explanation on the other, on the other um, presentation. Okay. okay. Can you see this one, Koi? I see. Yes. Okay. So we have the so-called tricolon or tricolon. Okay. So when you say tricolon, me, tri means three. Okay. So in making an essay, we can we can make this one so that our essay could be what? It could be more. Uh, more um, more beautiful to the reader, okay, or to the audience by using the so-called tree column. So again, from the root word tree or try, meaning it's tree, okay? So what's the example of this one? This lip, for example, if you're going to make here the backyards, here colon, the backyards, Colon, living rooms and front porches build a strong picture of plain box. So you can put columns here. Columns. Yes. 
that is yeah. three columns. So we have three columns here, but in this particular example, we have only two. Now take a look at with, with this one. With malice toward none colon, when charity toward all colon, with fearness in the right, of course, you can put in there. Uh, not a colon, but it's the end already, okay? If you're going to continue, you have to put a colon in there, okay? Or you can also do like this. Tell me and I forget, colon. Teach me and I remember, colon. Involve me and I learn, okay? Of course, it's, it's a period because it's the end already, but if you're going to continue that one, you have to put a colon also. Okay, so that is what we call a tree colon or a tri colon. Okay, and what is this a tri colon? Again, it's a tree or a sentence in which there are three parts of the clauses. So clause number one, clause number two, and then there another there's another clause. So it's the clauses. So meaning when we say clauses, what does it mean? Clauses, clauses are. Clauses. I mean, I understand that. Yes, not a sentence, but it has words. It's a group of words, but it has not. It is not a complete sentence yet. OK, okay. It's, it's just only a part of the paragraph wherein um, it, it doesn't have a complete thought. That is a clause, clause. OK, because clauses has its own dependent and we have also independent. So when I say dependent, uh, it's, it depends on the, on the independent clause. And then the, the independent clause doesn't depend to the dependent clause. Okay? So that is what we mean. Now, in order for you to start a very, very perfect essay, you can use this technique, a try colon. Okay? Okay, but that's, this is just only a um, uh, an example, Koi, huh? You can use the other one. So what, what are the other one? So you can use the so-called tautology. So what is tautology? Now, can you tell me, can you explain to me what is a tautology, Koi? Tautology is um, definition of this is the saying of a sentence twice in different words. Generally, Gen, uh, generally considered to be a point of, of star. Okay, so when we say tautology, it is a saying, okay? Example, in my opinion, I think that, there's another one, say it again once more. So you repeat, okay? You repeat, or maybe we can say same thing twice, in different words, it in different uh, contexts. Okay, let's say for example, in my opinion, and the other in the other context of, of that would be, I think that. But of course, it's just the same when you're going to uh, look for the meaning of it, right? So in my opinion, and then separate it with the columns, and then I think that. A sentence. Okay. Okay, and that is it. Or we can say. Say it again, once more. So when you say, say it again, oh, it's, it's also once more, right? right? Okay. Hot water, heater. Hot is the same as heater. Okay, so you can do that one. Okay, so again, what's the first one? You The use of the tree colon. Okay, and the second one is the use of Tautology. Okay, so you have two now. Okay, now you can be able to make your own essay using this technique. Okay, okay, next. What is the next one? Okay, remember also the so called parallelism. Okay, when you say parallelism, what does it mean, Koi? Here, similarities of structure in a pair of series of related words. Braces or losses. Okay. So, what does, what, what, does, what does it mean? Yes, that's my question. I don't know. 
Okay, <laughs> you don't know. Okay, so I'm going to explain it to you. So when is a parallelism, the, the word itself, parallel, that means it's also the same in a series. It's a pair of series of related words. Ooh. Not only words, but it could also be a phrases. Not only a phrases, it could also be a clause or clauses. But it has relationship. It has it's it uh, it's a pair of related words, related phrases, or related clauses. Okay, like for example, she tried to make her pastry fluffy, sweet, and delicate. So the yeah. word fluffy, sweet. And delicates are all adjectives that describes the pastry. And fluffy could also be somehow it's sweet and also delicate. Okay, because in when you are going to make a pastry, it's it's delicate. Okay. So you need to be careful in making the pastry. Okay, so therefore you can use this one also. That is what we call parallelism. Okay, we call this one as parallelism of words because floppy, sweet, delicate, it's parallel with each other. Okay, okay, and then we have also parallelism of phrases. Phrase. So, can you read for me the sentence, please? Singing a song or writing a poem. A poem, okay. A poem, each child. Okay, sometimes they call this one as poem. But sometimes they call they call this one as poem, okay? But uh, American English would say it's poem, okay? So we have to use poem, okay? Okay. Now, where is thou the parallelism of these phrases, boy? The phrases. Singing a song or writing a poem is joyous. joyous. So it has two ideas. It has two phrases there. Singing a song oh, is also be the same as writing a poem because they are joy use. So, but it becomes one because we just use the is there. Writing a song or singing a song or writing a poem is joy, joy use because we use the or. Maybe one of this, one of this, right? It could be singing a song or writing a poem could be joyous okay okay that is phrase phrases okay singing a song it's one it's the first phrase writing a poem it's the second phrase so therefore parallelism of phrases okay okay next when i say parallelism of clauses can you can you read the the sentence please put uh in pencils crop or tube trout are abundant or sermon a bit. Okay. Now we do have clauses now. Again, we do have we do have a lot of phrases, right? So therefore we call this one as clauses. So when you say parallelism of clauses, let's say for example, perks are inexpensive. Okay. Cod are cheap. Trout are oh. abundant. Oh. But salmon are pests. So there is the so-called parallelism or we, we call the same or series of related clauses. It's uh, when you say perks, it's can, it can also be related to cod. It can also be related to trout. Which it can also be related to salmon. Okay. So therefore, it's parallelism of clauses. Now, you can use this one koi in making an essay. Again, we have how many? How many? Uh, uh, how many techniques already? We have three techniques. What? What? What's the first one? A uh, three column. Okay, three column. The second one. Three tautologies. Tautology, and the third one is parallelism. But there's another more. Another more koi. Okay, what are this? We call this one as chiasmus okay this one is just the first it's just uh it is new to you uh it's chiasmus okay just presented okay. yes okay yeah so when we say chiasmus 
it's a sentence in which two words in the first half are crisscrossed in the second half. Okay. All for one, then exchange it one for all. So we call that one as crisscross in the second half. Why we, 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 we said it's in the second half? Because of the word on. Okay. So all for one. And then there's another one. You, you exchange the position of one, which is your first now. And then the all would be your last. So all for one and one for all. So this is what we call chasmus. Okay. Can you say the word chasmus? Just yeah, very good. So we crisscross, crisscross in the second half. Okay? okay. So all for one and one for all is taken from the three musketers. Okay, three musketers. Next, can you read this one for me, Koi? Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Yes. Oh, see, there's another one, right? Uh, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So we exchange the position of that. We crisscross in the second half. Okay? Okay, again, what? why do we say it's in the second half? By, of course, by this one. Okay, a comma. Okay? Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So we rescore, and this one is taken from the JFK's inaugural address in January 20, 1961. It's a long time ago, okay? It's a long time ago. So we use chasmus. Okay, now we have how many now? Uh, four. four. Okay, again, the first one is? Wait, uh, three color. Okay, the second one? Tautology. Tautology. The third one? Uh, parallelism. Parallelism. Okay, the fourth okay. one? And for one, Chasmus. Chasmus. Very good. And there's more. Okay. Okay, there is more. Oh. Okay, all this. Ah, it's familiar. Familiar to you? So, there are devices. Polisendeton. Okay. Oh, polisendeton. Yes. Yeah, so, what is polisendeton? Can you can you tell me what is it all about? Um, that slow down the film by using many conjunctions. Yes, yeah, so we we use many conjunctions in it. Okay, yeah. so it slow down the rhythm. So that means you need to slow down the rhythm. Okay, by using for lesson the tone. Okay, when someone read your essay they were going to feel to slow down also because you use for lesson the tone. Okay? Just like, for example, can you read this one for me, Koi? Um, Jim Joy Rice. We live and love and love and let. Okay. Which is an example of policy, what? For lesson the tone. For lesson the tone. By using Polisson the term, choice emphasize the importance of, of the his verbs. verbs. Yes. So she emphasizes here the importance of the verb by saying this one. We lived and loved and loved and left. So that is what we call Polisson the term. It has it slowed down the rhythm. When you know how to read this, you should have to slow down. Let's say, for example, Koi, huh? I'm going to say it. We lived and loved and loved and left. Okay? So it has the slowing down of the rhythm by using the conjunctions and. Okay? And, and, and aren't. But of course, in, 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 um, in uh, reading it, you should have to slow down, okay, by using polysendenton, okay? Okay, so that is it. Now, this one is the fifth one, okay, polysendenton. Next, we have also, if we have polysendenton, we have also ascendenton. 
So when we say ascendaton, what does it mean? Ascendaton oh, consists of a meeting conjunction between words, phrases, or clauses. Okay. Now examples. Example. Mary's room is three feet. Two Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, and Harry Potter. Okay, now, where is the Ascendaton in here? Um, tribute to Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, and Harry Potter. That's okay. Now, okay, Pol uh, uh, Polisendenton, it has a conjunction. But when we say Ascendenton, we have to omit now the conjunction. Okay, yes. look, look at this one. Okay, we said a while ago, we lived and loved and loved and left. So we have a conjunction. But in the ascendant tone, we omitted conjunction. And what, what we're going to do, we just have to put a comma in it, right? It's like, for example, Marin's room is a tribute to Star Wars, comma, Lord of the Rings, comma, Game of Thrones, and or Harry Potter. So we don't have, we do not use here the end. Okay, we do not use the end here. Instead, we just use a comma, but okay, it's also correct in writing an essay. So we call this one as ascend the tone. Okay, so again, it's omitting a conjunctions between words. Phrases or clauses, but in polysendenton, we use the word or the conjunctions. And what is the rhythm? The rhythm of this one is slow rhythm in reading it. If we have polysendenton, okay? Okay. Okay. So ascendenton that doesn't have a conjunctions. And then there's also polyptoton. Can you say it? Polyptoton. Polyptoton. And that's right. Okay, so what is a polyptoton? Polyptoton is, is, is repetition of work derived from the same root. Yes. So again, oh, okay. it's polyp polyptoton. So that means a repetition of words derived from the same root. Let's say, for example, can you read? Was alarms, the gay is narrow, the, the this, so threshold. Threshold harm. Few are chosen because few choose to be chosen. Yes, okay, so, look at this. Yeah. So by the, Aldous Huxley. Okay, so it was written by Aldous Huxley. Okay, and then we say, but alas, the gate is narrow, the threshold high. Few are chosen because few choose to be chosen. So the, the words chosen, choose, and chosen, okay, are what we call polyptoton because we repeated the words. Okay, we repeat the words, the derived words from the same root. Okay, so that is polyptoton. Okay, do not forget that one. You can use this one, uh, Koi, in making your own essay. Okay? okay, okay, but not, I, I'm not saying that you have to use all of them, huh? I'm not saying that because it's hard for you to use them all. Okay, maybe you can use one or two or three of it but do not use them all in your essay okay okay but if you wanted it to be more perfect uh, the the unique essay that you are going to have you have to make them all can you do that <laughs> okay can you do a uh, a perfect essay using all of this <laughs> Maybe, okay? Yes, in the future. Ah, uh, in the future. But of course, if you are just on the beginner, so maybe you can use one or two of it, okay? And then just improve a little bit and then uh, use another one until such time that you can be able to use them, okay? 
Okay. Okay. Next one, we have alliteration. Alliteration. Yes, so what is an alliteration? It's very simple. Yes. See, alliteration, what does it mean? It's the repeated consonant sounds occurring at the beginning of the words or within the words itself. Like, for example, can you read this one, Koi? She was quite a and wondering why she waited for water to waken. Ooh. Yes. So uh, just like when making a poem, right? When making a poem, you need to have the so-called uh the, the 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 sound of it okay but in this particular particular technique we use alliteration not the so-called um when you say at the end that is what we call what we call that one if we are talking about the 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 same the same sound at the end the same sound at the end yes um what is that press this roof it's the it's the uh, okay the same sound at the end okay I'm, I'm going to think of it okay that's, yeah that's a, for example if you're going to say rain and pain or oh, there is a there is a the same sound in it the rain and pain there is the in yeah sound in. yes yeah what do we call that okay there's there's a calling for that okay okay I'm going to think of it huh okay now look at this one we use the repeated consonant sounds at the beginning of the word or the beginning letter. Let's say, for example, wide, wandering, while, waited, walter, and waken. Okay, so for you to have a very or perfect essay, you can use this one also. Okay, this is called alliteration. Okay, this this is just simple. So you can maybe you can you can start with this one. Okay, but of course it's hard for you to to find words which has the same. Yeah. The same. Yeah. So it's it's yeah. also it's it's not also uh, easy. Okay, because you you were going to find word which says the same. But not only W ha koi, you can use maybe M. You can use also S or other consonants also for as long as they're the same, okay? okay. Yes. Next, anaphora. we have anaphora. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's anaphora. So when we say anaphora, what does it mean? Anaphora, repetition of the same word, or group of words at the beginning of sentences, clauses, sentences, or lines. Yes, so that is what we call anaphora. So example, can you read this one, Koi? December destroy a throne of kings. This hunting Easter's. Okay, it's this a hunting isle. Isle. Yes. This earth of majesty. This is of mouth. Okay, majesty. Majesties. Yes. Okay. Now, repetition means it's a word or group of words at the beginning. Okay, what what is what is the word at the beginning? This. Yes. In in the, another another clause we this. use this. Another clause we this. use this. Another clause this. we use this. Okay, so it's a repetition of the group of words. Now, this is this is just only word, huh? We're not using group of words here. You can also use group of words code. Okay. Okay, and then. It's already done, Koi. So again, how many how many techniques you are going to follow in order for you to create a very good essay? So remember, what's the number one? It's the tricolon. Yes. The second one, tautology. The third one, parallelism. The fourth one, chasmus. Chasmus. The fourth one. Policy the fifth one, the polysyndeton, and then the opposite of polysyndeton would be ascendeton, ascendeton, and then we have the so-called polyptoton. Polyptoton. Yeah, it's the repetition of words derived from the same root. Okay, and then we have the alliteration. 
Let me three C. And the last one is Afora. anaphora. So how many? How many? Five? One, I, two, I, I, three, I, I, four, five, six, six, seven, seven, and the last one. Eight and oh. nine. So oh, we have yeah. nine. nine techniques in order for you to have a very good, very good what? Essay. Okay? okay? Okay. Now you know the technique. So I'm going to go back to the other one. Hmm. And there's another one when we say Okay. You can see this one, Koi. Be creative or yes. And rise in the way to. Yes. So be creative and original right the way through now you have now the so-called you have the plan now now in order for you to create a very good plan and in order for you to write now starting writing it now you have to do the clear structure now so create a sentence now create a phrase now create a paragraph now in order for you to do this one and then you have to remember also points to analyze your quotations. So you have to use the following literary techniques. So we have nine literary techniques. So you all know that one. Okay. You already, I already explained it to you a while ago. And then the last one is you should be creative and original right the way through. So when we say creative, what does it mean, Koi? We created thus we create uh, our own personal opinions yes and use this one okay in order for you to be more creative use let literary techniques coy okay? okay for you to be more creative and it should be original do not copy it from the net okay because that is plagiarism when you copy your essay on the net that's plagiarism okay that's not original so when you say original that is taken from your own ideas you created your own so that you can be able to say that that is mine because i wrote that okay because that is coming from my ideas original okay you know koi um those who are professional writers can be able to solve their own literary or or their essays okay and they 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 are paid a lot of money for that okay for those who are good writers for those who are good essay writers yeah, yes. yes okay so they're paying uh, 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 some companies pay for for that particular writings of them. OK, uh, one of this is maybe you can be able to write also using the following techniques. Koi. OK, OK, now let's try to summarize them all. So how start by writing thorough plan. And then if you have the plan now. Mm -hmm. Ensure. Yes, your essay is had a clear structure and overall argument. Yes, argument. So it, it has now the, the plan. You put them you put them all in a plan and then you have all the, the words in there. Okay. Put them together. Okay. You should have to have a clear structure and you have the overall argument in it. And then right after that one, you have to try to back up them with the each with its point you yes. make with the quotation what are those quotation using the literary techniques yeah. okay we have how many literary techniques we have nine yes. literary yes. techniques and then the last one answer the question in your introduction and conclusions must remember to be creative too yes so answer the question in your introduction and conclusion but remember 
to be creating too. Again, creative and original. That, that means that is coming from you. You are the one wrote that. So that is original. No one will be going to get that one unless with your own permission. Okay, Koi? Because that is original. You wrote that. So you own that. Okay? Okay. Do you have questions with this one, Koi? Okay, I'm going to show you an example, okay, for a while, of a very good essay. And I want you to... Uh, to uh, Experience. Yeah, I, I want you to examine them and what makes them a very good essay, okay? Okay, for a while. Let's see. For a while. Yeah. Okay, actually, I uh, we do have a lot here, so I want you to to uh, critic them, okay? Okay. Okay, um, we have here a lot of uh, choices, Koi. So can we use Kang Foundation and Legal Scholarship, New York University Scholarship about that essay, North Coast Section Foundation Scholarship, Fan for Education Abroad Scholarship, Quest Breed Scholarship. So which do you think would be we are going to open? So just tell me, choose, choose only one. Or uh, the second one, New York University, University Scholarship. Okay, I'm, I have to open this one. Okay, oh. look at this one, Koi. Is it a short essay or a long essay? Really, just as long, just a short essay. Long essay. Now look at this one. I want you to comment with this particular essay, Koi. Huh? Uh -huh. Is this a very good essay? What do you think? What makes this essay a good one? Using, using the techniques that we had learned while ago, huh? Okay. okay. Mm. I want you to examine. Okay, I want you to examine this essay. Wow, that's really. Really what? Really, truly and attractive to audience. Oh, really? Why? Yes. Just the opening of this essay made me feel what immersed in this essay and want to read more about it. Okay, and look at this one, okay? Um, the title of this essay is Scholarship Essay Example, okay? Now, if you are the student applying for a scholarship, okay, and you are maybe the director of the university, and then... Uh, they ask you to write a particular essay. Um, could this essay would pass? What? what do you think? Um, are, are you be accepted in the university if you are going to show this particular essay? Yeah. Yes. You will be accepted and you will become a scholar of the New York University College of Arts and Sciences. Okay, because of this particular essay. Actually, if you wanted to to apply, okay, in, in a big university, more especially in the United States, Koi, you need to undergo, you need to write your own original essay. Okay, yes, so it's a requirement for you to write an essay. So one of this essay would be like this. Okay, look at this one. Huh? What makes this essay a very good one? Okay, look at, look at the, the paragraph number one. If you can leave off of it, it is useless. See, the opening, the opening of this essay. My parents were talking about ice skating my passion. I started sk uh, skating as a 10 year old in Spain, admiring how difficulty and grace intertwine 
to create beautiful programs, but no one imagined I would still be on the ice seven years yes. and one country later. Mm. Even more unimaginable was the thought that ice skating might become one of the most useful parts of my life. Now, look at this one. Is the author already um, um, uh, saying about scholarship in this particular opening? Yeah. Okay, can you can you tell me where is that part that she said it's all about uh, she is now telling that uh, that uh, that you have to accept me because I am good. Okay, because I am smart. So you have to accept me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it was not there. Okay, it was it, yes. it wasn't here. What she emphasized in here would be what? Emphasize her useless. Her, her what? Her? Useless. Okay. Emphasize the word useless because according to her, she emphasized her, the so-called, when she was a kid. Oh. Okay. When she was a kid, when she was a kid, she likes to what? To go on skating also just like her parents. Mm. Okay. Okay, because it's her passion to do what? To do skiing or skating. Because according to here, it's my passion. So in this particular essay, she mentioned about her passion. So what is her passion? It's all about skating. Okay, next, next paragraph, Koi. Let's try to analyze, huh? Let's try to analyze the paragraph to paragraph. Okay, uh, I was born in uh, Mexico. In Mexico, to to Spanish speakers, third Spanish. Does, uh, Thurs, right? Does. Thurs. Okay. That's, um, Spanish was my first language. No, was my first language. We okay. then moved to Spain when I was six. Before six. finally well, arriving, I. Then see the words clearly. Okay. Arriving in uh, in is California around my thirteenth birthday. Okay, thirteenth birthday. It just introduced countless challenges, but the hard part of moving to America for me was learning, learning English. English. Okay. Laminate this in these cards. Index cards. Color coded, color coded, and full, and of, full of vocabulary. Okay, of because this. become part of my daily life. As someone who loves to engage in a conversation, it's quite very hard to feel as if my tongue would cut off. Cut off. Cut off. Only as, only at the iron could, could I be myself. The feeling of the cool ring breeze. Embracing, embracing me. me, the ripping sounds of blade, bladed tell the eyes, even occasional eyes burn. burning my skin. And I felt this were my free constants. I did not need to worry about me conscientious access. Axel. Axel. As or Axel. Axel. <laughs> Rather. I just needed to glide glass and and deliver deliver the jump the jump okay now look at this one koi she was when she was young she was state she stated here about her about her passion which is skating okay and then on the second paragraph she was able to watch she was able to um disclose but, now the challenges of her life when she was uh, when she was when she was uh, a student, okay? okay, okay, and then when they transferred to United States, and it, she mentioned about this, she mentioned here that, but the hardest part of moving to America for me was learning English, laminated index cards, color coded, and full of vocabulary became part of my daily life. So she accepted now the what. 
Okay. The, America. Yes. Yes. The life of America. So that is on the second paragraph. Okay. Yes. So we will going to uh, continue this one, Koi. Okay. Next meeting because I do have class after you. Okay. So. Um, it's it's a, it's a, we 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 have a long okay this one is a very long essay but look at the last one koi oh, i agree that i will never live off live skating is the education and skill i have gained from it have opened, opened countless doors doors i skating have given me the resilience resilience what work is a uh, work ethic work ethics and inspiration to develop at the teachers and an English, English speak speaker yeah through my academic perform academic performance by teaching me the three the rhythm the read or the rhythm help and, and routine it also reminds me that a person does not have to reduce money in order for it to hold in what universe yes uh, universe value Karen miss for instance challenge me to experience with the messy and unexpected where paintings remind me to be adventurous okay. and patience with my um form of self depression i don't know yes what i will live off oh, from, from day, day to day as I mature, I'm a, uh, they I mature. However, the skill my person has provided me are uh, life lifelong and irreplaceable. Uh, okay. okay, actually, she uh, or in the last part of her essay, she mentioned it all because she came from that, right? Yeah. She summarized them all, and she closes it also. Okay, yeah, so maybe on the next meeting, if you wanted it more, more example, okay, I'm going to show it to you, okay, before we can move on to our next lesson, okay, Koi? Okay, okay. I hope you learned something from me today. Yes. I... Yes, so it's all about uh, now how to means... write, yes, how to write a perfect essay, okay? Okay, so thank you so much for your time, Koi. We'll see you again next meeting. Okay, bye bye. Yes, goodbye. Okay, God bless. Bye bye. Yes, have a good night. Have a good night too. Uh...